Hey all, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games on YouTube. So today this video is going to be an answer to all of your messages and comments and everything that you guys have given to me over the past like few weeks since roughly the start of November. I said it a couple of times before that I'll, I'll get back to you and I, I, I do read every single comment and every single question for sure. But I wanted to do a bit more of an interactive way to give you guys some feedback or some direction as opposed to you just seeing like a reply on a comment or some text or something like this. I wanted to sort of do it as if I'm speaking to you face to face almost even though I'm just talking to my camera here. So hopefully this is a better way and hopefully this video is kind of interesting and hopefully everybody gets to sort of see some of the answers that I'm giving and therefore everybody kind of learns at the same time or picks up some tips or some ideas or whatever you whatever it may be. So let me just go to my uh, my YouTube inbox. So this is going back to roughly the what are we on now. This is the I think the eighth of November. So there's a few pages. I don't know how long this is vid this video is going to be. I might have to break it up into some parts. But hopefully, you know, you guys will will um, will stick around for for the entire series. I hope. Uh, so I, I've not actually checked these messages before, by the way. I, I have read them, but I'm just going through them on the fly. I, I've, I've not actually opened them inside of my YouTube uh, mailbox. I've just sort of opened them from my, my main Gmail box. So this is sort of on the fly, and, and hopefully it's kind of smooth. So, all right, so Dave, Dave Mandera, a uh, beginner, hey, hey, that's nothing for me, but thank you anyway. Keep doing your stuff. Good luck, Dave. All right, thanks, Dave. So you're probably a more advanced uh, advanced developer than I am. So you know, if there's anything on the expert side or I guess intermediate side that you want to know, please drop me a message or comment, and we'll, we'll we'll I'll see what I can do for you. But you know, anyway, thanks for the message. It's it's good to meet new people. So uh, Henry uh, Henry Willard, uh, if you need free marketing, then you're gonna need to check this site out. All right, cool. I'll check it out. Jobs affiliate. Anyway, that's probably just a little bit of a um, uh, broad message to everybody. Uh, comment on my uh, on the Pong game tutorial. Uh, Nilmar de Bar Barcelos. Uh, thank you, Martin. Uh, you're welcome, Nilmar. Thank you. Thank you for the message. I, I love to see these. You know, just just when anyone says thanks or you know this was great or you know really helped me. It, it's a super boost um, because when I'm so 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 busy, you know, it, it really pumps me up with with getting more videos done and, and hopefully giving you guys more so thank you for the comment um soon wolf uh so comment on the video uh, more 3d games you talk so good to see you back i especially enjoy the business aspects that you uh, that you describe can be hard to find information on uh, keep them coming yeah so some wolf uh, definitely you know thank you for the thank you for the feedback that's really useful the yeah the business side is a little bit harder to to find information for well I, I think it's not it's not difficult to find information for I think there is an overload of information and um, when you go to say forums like iPhone dev sdk.com which is a really good forum or the unity 3d forums you, or let's say um, uh, what's the other big site pocketgamer.biz I usually look at these uh, whenever I can whenever I have time but there is an overload of information. There is a lot of information, so I think it's harder to find stuff where there's uh, there's video information. I think that's harder to find for sure. Like, so I'm hoping to do more on the business side. And one of the videos I want to do soon is actually on on ad network uh, aggregation. It's called. And what that does is, if you've got ads in the game, say like AdMob, it'll actually pick between different networks on the fly to choose the one that has the highest payout. Or the, in case it can't fill the ad with this network, it'll try a different network, and that's called ad uh, mediation. And I, I know a very good site for that, and I've also I'm also testing it out a little bit. So hopefully this will this will be good for you. But Sunwo, thank you, thank you for the comment. That's it's great to read. So uh, G Wang Mark, great tutorial. I followed your tutorial. Facebook function works fine. Okay, cool, cool. Um, but in-app purchase store kit function is not working anymore. Error cannot retrieve any product after Facebook function implementation. Have you ever met this weird situation? So possibly, yes. Um, what I would say is have a try of one is copy the copy the project folder 
make a new project first. Though. So copy the folder and make a new project so that you can change this project and if anything else goes wrong, you can just go back to the old project. So that's the first thing. I would try rebuilding the project. So when iPhone builds, it builds to a new folder and it calls that the build, you know. So if you go into Unity and you click on File, Build, choose a new folder, a different new folder inside of that new project folder. That means you get a fresh build and that will, um, that might work because that's happened to me before where where I've been trying to use the in-app purchases but because I didn't rebuild the project it didn't work so give, give that a try so build from scratch the other thing is try to add if you've got say two or three plugins say like AdMob, Facebook and StoreKit try to install those one by one start with the StoreKit first because that's probably a most important one try to install that um, and then see if it works, test your in-app purchases and then try to add the Facebook one after that. That might help because I, I have sometimes the same problem where depending on the order that the plugins get installed, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. So it's a little strange. Uh, it can be a little bit of a juggling act. So give that a try. And I'm just thinking if there's anything else off the top of my head that you might want to try. So, but in a purchase stock it function is not working anymore cannot retrieve any product yeah I think I, I fixed the error one time before by just building a new project folder and then rebuilding into a new folder so the the so the Xcode project was just built from scratch that did work mm, let me take a look uh, I, get uh, please please give me a, a note back uh, uh, G Wang mark if it doesn't work, please give me a comment. I think the other way is to look on prime31.com, uh, prime the word and then 31.com and go to their API section where it says you can get the peruse the API docs and take a look in there because it has a bunch of tips on what might be going wrong. So check that out because that gave me some help before. But uh, you know, I'm glad the I'm glad the Facebook uh, tutorial works fine. We do get a lot of users, for example, on Killer Shooting Sniper X, we have around 100 to 150 players posting on Facebook each day on that. So we're definitely getting some cross-viral marketing. And so I recommend uh, everybody put Facebook in there and check out the Facebook tutorial. So, all right, but you know, thanks, thanks for the thanks for the message, uh, Mark. It's good to meet you. Um, Thab, uh, sorry, Thab Am, Thabambu. Okay, Thabambu. Um, so comment on the updating iPhone uh, super bug killer. So uh, you must be getting new technology early in China. Um, I guess so. Was this? I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> updating iPhone part 1A. Setting up in-app purchases. Oh, yeah. This was adding the new in-app purchases. Uh, you must be getting new technology early in China. Um, I guess so. If I guess if you're referring to the new in-app purchases, that's that's not new really. Uh, that's pretty much every, everyone can can access that for for iOS. But uh, I think I've misunderstood what you're saying there. But thank you, thank you for the comment anyway. But please comment back or give me a message back if if you need me to answer something there again. Uh, but yeah, uh, always thanks for the comment. So zero eight zero eight four zero eight five. Cool. Thank you. Always love to see those ones. <laughs> thank you for the comment. I hope uh, I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, Neil Ma, oh yeah, Neil Ma again. So great tutorials, Martin. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for the comment. You know, it's it's always always makes me smile to see these ones. Uh, Neil Ma again. So this was on the Pong game tutorial. That was a while back now. That was a couple of months back, and I've not done a big tutorial again yet, mainly due to time. But I'm gonna come back to you guys, and I promise I will do some more tutorials. Um, Maybe I just need to give myself a year off and just, just focus on this. So I made my particle system look like lasers. It's so cool to mess with. Uh, learning a lot from your tutorials. Thanks, Martin. Hey, thanks again, Nilmar. Awesome. You know, so nice to see that comment. And I'm glad it's working for you as well. I recently updated to Unity 3.5.5. And there's a new, I think it's called the Shuriken particle system in there. I've not used that one yet, but I'm, I, I plan to do a tutorial on that one as well. And the tutorial is uh, just how to build basic particle systems. You know, if you haven't, if you have any experience with it, you know, or, or if if you if you've built something using one of the tutorials, please upload a video. It'll be so awesome to see. Or if you do do a game, 
and you upload that, uh, say it's a Unity web game, then please upload it somewhere. It would be great to play it and check it out because I, I know somebody else did that before. So, you know, awesome. Thanks again for the comment.